Hey everyone, I'm back again with another video, and this one is titled, Wife Cheated, I'm Filled with So Much Rage. Please make sure you like the video and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Let's get right into it. I've posted here a couple of times over the past few months, but I'm still struggling with the anger over everything. We were together for 13 years, married for 7. Then she had an emotional and physical affair with a co-worker while pregnant with our son. D-Day was when he was one month old. Yes, he's mine. Did the paternity test. After putting the pieces together, I learned she was out seeing AP while I was home with our older daughter. That she was texting AP saying she loved him while we were in the hospital together for her C-section. I'm so shocked and angry with everything, especially that this was going on while pregnant. I was doing the things I was supposed to be doing like coming home early from work so she could go to parental yoga and just generally trying to be supportive. But now I feel so used, so angry that while she was having an affair, she still had the nerve to complain to me that I wasn't getting the baby room ready fast enough. That she told me the reason she didn't want to be intimate with me during the pregnancy was because she was having an affair. I thought she just didn't want to be intimate because she was, you know, pregnant and not feeling it. I thought I was being supportive. We went to a couple marriage counseling sessions, although I don't really know why. While in session, she said to me, you need to see me as a co-parent, not as a romantic partner. She's just so cold and acts like she doesn't care at all about what she did. Then I shouldn't have, but I read some of her texts to AP. She was telling AP I was toxic apparently for being so angry at the situation and just generally complaining about me to him. My son triggers me, although it's gotten better, it's just so hard knowing he was there. My wife told AP how I was struggling with things and AP was making comments like, lol, does he even know how to be a father? This is what the guy who was hooking up with my pregnant wife said. We have been living apart for several months now, but the anger still feels so strong. Sometimes I feel so overwhelmed from everything. How could I ever cope with this guy being part of my kids' lives after what's been done and said? And the first comment says, I get angry for you just reading this. And the comment after that says, God, what an awful woman. Let her be someone else's problem. Do whatever is necessary to get the divorce done. And the comment after that says, Take care of your mental health, your physical health, become successful and happy not just material successful. Live your life and you'll see who has the last laugh. And the comment after that says, she is a sad, sick, and awful woman. Please take care of yourself and cut her out of your life except for being co-parents. Limit communication to parenting logistics and written communication only. Try using an app specifically for co-parenting. I'm so sorry your ex-wife wasn't who you thought she was. Be the very best and healthiest version of yourself that's possible because your kids will need you because their mother is so incredibly toxic and unhealthy. If you're not in therapy, start tomorrow. I hope things get better for you. When your kids are older, they will know the truth and they will judge her. They will not be proud. There is nothing she can do to change that. And the next comment says, That is such an awful effing BS you had to go through. She sounds like a complete sociopath. It's bad enough she cheats on you, but then turns around and makes you look bad to the AP? Talk about a low blow. I'm of the mindset that if a spouse is cheating and the other person involved isn't even aware that your spouse is already spoken for, then whatever. Not really their fault and even then it would still hurt a lot and I would have much anger towards the other person. But in a case like this, where the guy clearly knows, I don't know what I would do. It's not worth getting yourself into trouble for, but I hope karma visits those too, your ex slash soon to be ex-wife and the AP. Some people are so dirty inside to the core, that's effing demented man. Do not ever go back to her and get ready to split. You cannot trust this woman ever again. I have problems in my relationship with my girlfriend, but if I ever found out S like this was going on, no proof ever found, I'd probably be filled with just as much rage as you. I'd probably be looking for the guy. But that's only because I've dealt with a dead bedroom, 
situation and mountains of anxiety for the last five years. And if I find out some guy actually is hanging around having a laugh at my expense and getting what is rightfully mine this whole time, I would probably explode with rage. I know, sounds hypocritical, but I feel like people like this, your wife's AP, need a severe beating. If you have two people who fell for each other and they feel awful about screwing over the innocent party, at least there is some basic empathy there. And you know it's just essay bad luck situations all around. And even in the circumstance, most people would still be enraged slash pissed. But this level of disrespect that you're experiencing, it's very disgusting to witness. I don't like violence, but it's s like this that makes me think we need to enact some serious anti-infidelity laws and possibly even some public shaming tactics when people are this cruel. People like those two deserve to be publicly humiliated in my opinion. Get away from this woman and find someone who is worth all the extra effort. I know, easier said than done these days. Hang in there, man. And the next comment says, Sounds like she and her AP deserve each other. Get a divorce ASAP and try to be as good of a father as you can be. Shield the kids as much as you can. They will learn later in life as to what she is. And the comment after that says, About your son, I get it. The betrayed is taken care of. The kids are taken care of. But what about the betrayed? Where in the law does it say the betrayed needs assistance, compassion, and support too? I told a friend last night to explain her feelings about the whole situation like this, very similar to yours. Remember when you were a teen becoming an adult? The anger, the tears, the irrational behavior, the uncertainty, the lack of self-esteem and confidence? Well, that's exactly what a betrayed spouse goes through. They don't see it like courts. They don't see it like the betrayed. They see things in this whole new being that they don't even know anymore. Sometimes we don't understand our actions and reactions because we didn't know the meaning of the triggers, season of despair, or all those sweet words they make up for the actual words, betrayal trauma. And the comment after that says, finish the separation with a divorce. Do it today. Don't wait anymore. Get therapy. Move on with your life. You have every right to be angry. But there is a better way to harness that rage. Go to a gym. Get physically fit and healthy. Start dating. That's the best revenge. Find someone better and build a life with them. Once your ex and this guy start a relationship and she starts cheating on him, cheaters always cheat, and or he on her, she'll figure out that you are the far better man. But by then, it'll be too late as you've long since moved on with your life. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like the video and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. And be sure to comment below what other subreddits you want me to cover.